Among the many transformations of Melbourne's skyline during the 20th century, an unlikely architectural curio caused quite the stir. In 1906, a little corrugated iron building was erected on the corner of Elizabeth and Little Burke Street. The shed was intended to be a temporary home for the telegraph office. By 1920, the GPO telegraph service moved out of the building and a motor accessories firm leased the space. Time passed and the city grew. Grand new buildings began to appear in the skyline. Rapid construction was the order of the day, with an emphasis on scale and permanence. Against this backdrop, the humble tin shed became a blight on the bustling modern landscape of Melbourne's CBD. When are they going to get rid of that old tin shed? Rumours about who owned the land began to swirl. Some claimed the site was blank on the original city plan, and no one knew who actually owned the title. Another rumour had the lot being sold to a drunken sailor. People began petitioning the land office with false claims on the property. Public discontent about the shed bubbled away for another decade, until in 1935 it was announced the shed would be demolished to make way for post office extensions. But the plans came to nothing. The debate rolled on, soon reaching the halls of federal parliament. In 1936, Labor MP E.J. Holloway called the building an eyesore and urged the government to remove it. Despite Melbournians' best efforts, the Commonwealth Government was unmoved. The shed survived for another 28 long years before it was finally demolished in 1964. The site has lived many lives since then, but none of these buildings have ever caused as much controversy as the old tin shed.